In the early 1930s, a period marked by extravagant experimentation in the aviation industry, the Stipa Caproni emerged as a remarkable aircraft. Designed by Italian aeronautical engineer Luigi Stipa and manufactured by the Caproni Company, this aircraft had a truly unique appearance reminiscent of a cartoon. However, beneath its unconventional exterior, it proved to be a functional marvel. The Stipa Caproni featured a fuselage in the form of a mere tube, with an engine and propeller that channeled airflow through the cylinder's length to generate thrust. During 1932, the Italian fascist government sought to showcase its technological prowess, especially in the field of aviation. Luigi Stipa, an inventor with a background in engineering and aeronautics, approached them with a groundbreaking idea. Stipa, who had previously served in World War I, resumed his studies and eventually became a prominent figure in the air ministry, focusing on making aircraft more efficient he explored the relationship between velocity and pipe diameter to airflow, resulting in what he called an intubated propeller. The first Italian airplane took flight in 1910, built by Count Gianni Caproni di Tagliedo. In just four years, he achieved another milestone by developing the world's first single-seat tractor engine fighter equipped with a forward-firing machine gun. Throughout World War I, Caproni dedicated himself to creating massive aircraft, solidifying his reputation as a daring and innovative aircraft designer. Even post-war, Count Caproni continued to produce large, multi-winged airplanes, including the memorable eight-engine, nine-winged K-60 airliner, while also working on a range of more conventional models. Caproni's extensive experience made him the ideal choice to realize Luigi Stipa's vision. In 1932, the Italian Air Ministry contracted the Caproni Aviation Corporation to undertake the development and construction of the prototype aircraft. The design featured a distinctively short and stout tubular shape, open at both ends, but narrowed in the middle to compress and redirect airflow using the propeller. Notably, the tube served as the primary fuselage, lending the aircraft a comical appearance. Additionally, the elliptical-shaped wings attached to the tube required spars to pass through the tube and the central engine nacelle. The cockpit was positioned atop the tubular fuselage, accommodating tandem seating under a hump. However, this configuration provided less than ideal visibility, with the humped surfaces at the front and rear impeding sight lines, especially during takeoff and landing. The power source was a single 120 horsepower de Havilland Gypsy 3 engine, positioned within a nacelle at the front, with the propeller suspended at the leading edge inside the tube's center. Furthermore, the aircraft featured relatively low landing gear, given that the propeller's diameter closely matched that of the fuselage. Finally, a small rudder and elevators were affixed to the tube's trailing edge, directly in the slipstream, contributing to the aircraft's whimsical appearance. To enhance its caricature-like aesthetics, the aircraft was painted in a light blue and cream color scheme, reminiscent of racing planes of the era. When Caproni test pilot Domenico Antonini took the Caproni Stipa on its maiden flight in October 1932, it presented a truly astonishing sight. The experimental aircraft exhibited peculiar proportions, boasting a wingspan of 46 feet 10 inches, a height of 9 feet 10 inches, and a modest length of just 19 feet 3 inches. Its top speed reached a modest 81 miles per hour. Notably, the Bumblebee outperformed conventional aircraft with similar power and wing loading, showcasing a superior climb rate. Test flights confirmed that Stipa's intubated propeller enhanced engine efficiency, while the interior airfoil shape contributed to lift. Fueled by the interest of the Italian government and the global aeronautics community, Luigi Stipa secured patents for his design not only in his homeland, but also in the United States and Germany. Despite the Air Ministry's reluctance to embrace Stipa's theories, the Italians actively propagated them for propaganda purposes, resulting in the dissemination of his work to various countries, including France and the United Kingdom. In 1934, 
German engineer Ludwig Kort introduced a ducted fan system with similarities to its Italian counterpart, a concept known as the Kort nozzle, which remains in use today. Additionally, the French expressed interest in the Italian model and commissioned the development of a night bomber, incorporating intubated propellers based on Steeper's designs. This endeavor gave rise to the BN-4 night bomber, designed by Anf Moreau, intended to accommodate a crew of four and equipped with retractable landing gear and two power-operated gun turrets. Featuring a wingspan of 59 feet, a top speed of 233 miles per hour, a range extending to 1,242 miles, and a ceiling reaching 33,136 feet. This model held the potential to vindicate Steeper's vision. However, the nationalization and reorganization of the aviation industry in France thwarted the project's progress, preventing the construction of even a prototype. Subsequently, following the development of the V-1 flying bomb, Steeper alleged that the Germans had appropriated his patents. However, it's essential to note that their pulse jet engine bore little resemblance to Steeper's intubated propeller and relied on controlled explosions as a propulsion method. Regrettably, no substantial efforts were undertaken to advance the development of Steeper's intubated propeller. Nevertheless, in 1940, the Italians introduced a more sophisticated derivative, the Caproni Campini N1. This innovative aircraft employed a traditional radial engine to drive a variable pitch ducted fan compressor located within the fuselage. The system necessitated additional fuel within the compressed air, leading to combustion in a tail-mounted chamber. Although the N1 never reached practical viability, it afforded the Italians the distinction of having flown the first aircraft equipped with an afterburner. Following the conclusion of World War II, Steeper firmly believed that jet engine technology drew inspiration from his designs. Some historians concur, acknowledging parallels between the intubated propeller and turbofan engines, thereby partially vindicating the Italian inventor and his creation. Despite enduring a lifetime marked by bitterness due to the lack of recognition, Steeper's legacy found new life thanks to the diligent efforts of Lynette Zuccoli and Aerotech Queensland in Australia. After Steeper's passing in 1992, they painstakingly crafted a 3 5 the scale replica of the original Steeper Caproni, faithfully replicating its distinctive painting scheme. This replica underwent at least two flights before retiring to static display status, offering aviation enthusiasts the opportunity to visit it at Toowoomba City Aerodrome in Australia. Thank you for watching. If you're interested in exploring more daring military operations, and the remarkable technologies that have reshaped entire conflicts, be sure to explore our other documentary videos. We consistently release fresh content, so make sure to click the bell icon to receive notifications and stay connected for upcoming releases.